I got, I got a couple things, a couple tips for um, entrepreneurs, leaders, parents about um, staying motivated. You know, uh, talking with one of my buddies and um, he asked, like, what, what are some of the ways you stay motivated? Because it seems like I can't seem to, to stay motivated. And it, it kind of gets me discouraged. So what are, what are some things, man, I can do to, to kind of get motivated again and, and stay in the game? And the, the, truth with, the truth about motivation is, like, like you can't always be motivated. Like, that you can't always be motivated. But there are some things you can do to trigger back, like, your motivation. And so I'll give you um, maybe four tips, maybe, maybe more. Uh, but these are some, some key things that will help you, especially if you're a business owner, special, especially if you're managing a, f- a household, you have, you have kids, uh, maybe a career, maybe a new job, maybe a, a fitness plan. Uh, maybe just just you're you're getting out of uh, college, and you're and you're really trying to figure out like what's the next steps for your life, and so uh, one of the, one of the main things that I would say about motivation is is that whenever you whenever you maybe let's say for example like you're you're working out consistently and you know you you start to miss a couple of days and then. You know, maybe one day turns into two days, and then two days turns into a week, and and so you start beating yourself up. You're like, man, I just don't have the motivation anymore. Well, you got to just stop and, and and just say, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start over again. I'm just gonna start over again, and I'm not gonna you know let you know my past failure keep keep like creating negativity. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start again. And, and, and use, that, use that as an opportunity to, to learn from that, you know. Uh, use it as an opportunity to say, hey, you know what, like the last time this happened, you know, I, I, I didn't work out for two days and two days turned into a week. So I got to make sure that I don't, you know, go, go that long without, you know, working out. Or uh, maybe one thing that will work too is, is having something to kind of trigger you to work out for example like like so a couple of things like for for example myself like I changed my I changed my workout routine uh from the morning to to to, to mid noon right but I wanted to start working out in the morning again so I just really started mentally preparing myself and saying hey you know what you have to get up you know at five in the morning and right when you get up you you know you know you're gonna make excuses so you gotta just hit the gym as fast as possible. So right when I get up, uh, I'll put my shoes on, I'll put my hoodie on, drink some water, get my stuff, and I'll just I'll hit the gym. Because I know if I, if, I, if I wait a little bit longer, or if I just take my time, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'll stop, I won't go. So I always do those little things to kind of keep, keep the motivation going. Um, the same thing, to add to that, like you can actually like have some things that will trigger you. Uh, I know at, at our last uh, event, I talked about uh, the Massive Action shirts, right? And I'm not promoting the Massive Action shirt. Uh, you can use any shirt, like, like for example, the Grant 10X shirt, right? Uh, Monster Producer, Coach Burt, uh, you know, Max Out. The, those can be symbols, you know, they can be symbols to trigger you, to, to remind you that um, that you want to accomplish something bigger, that, that that that'll trigger you to hey say hey you know what like uh, you said you you told yourself you were gonna get in shape, you told yourself you were gonna get better at leadership, you told yourself you were gonna get better at finances, you told yourself you were gonna get better at parenting. Uh, those can be triggers to to reignite the motivation. Okay, so uh, we'll start with that one, right? So number one is gonna be as soon as you fall off of, of the motivation, you feel that motivation creeping on, don't allow it to start to create negativity. Don't allow it to just kind of linger. 
for example, if you if you watch TV for two hours, and 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 you know that 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 was pretty lazy, don't like stop and like, oh man, I watched TV for two hours. I don't know why I did that, and man, that's so dumb of me. Like, don't don't add to to it. Just say, you know what, I wasted two hours. Now I gotta get back on it. Like, just take it as a loss. Say, man, I gotta I gotta make sure I don't do that because I lost two hours and, and, and just move on. Don't let it kind of build up and create negativity and then you start to procrastinate and it just kind of builds up, right? Uh, the mental triggers, like something, a phrase, some kind of music, uh, even certain scents, like if you, certain, certain smells will, will trigger you. Uh, songs, scents, uh, pictures, uh, you know, phrases, uh, quotes, something, some, if you see it, it would, it would create a mental trigger to, for you to reignite that motivation, right? Uh, number two, let's go with um, start clarifying. I'm, I'm going to jump between goals and, and motivation because I feel like they have kind of, kind of some similarities. Uh, if, you, if you're not getting the motivation that you want, stop and clarify what you're trying to achieve, okay? So stop and clarify, okay, you know what, like, this is what, this is what I wanna do, this is how I'm gonna do it, this is what it's gonna look like, this is who's gonna help me get there, this is who I'm gonna help. Uh, just try to get as much detail as, as, as the mission that you're on, and that, that'll help you reignite that motivation. It'll help you reignite it because you're you're going back to, to the to the blueprint and saying, hey, you know what? Like this is this is why I'm here. This is why I started, you know, this this journey in the first place, and you're and you're just kind of re. You know, re. Uh, what is the word like re? Um, help me out here. Come on, help me out. Uh, you you just like reigniting, you know, the the vision again. You're reigniting. The, the journey you're reigniting the those uh that dopamine that excitement the adrenaline like you're reigniting all that stuff be, because you're seeing it on paper and you're actually starting to write it down and so even another thing to that's number two right number three let's talk about like visualizing let's talk about visualizing like what the 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 end result's going to be let's, let's, let's visualize what obstacles are going to be in your way Okay, because a lot of times we visualize like the good things, but we don't visualize like, okay, I'm gonna come across this obstacle and I need to be mentally prepared for this obstacle. And, and the more you can play that, those, those obstacles out, the better, you're, the better prepared you're gonna be whenever you encounter those. Uh, athletes do this all the time. Like sports, sports athletes, they visualize uh, the game. They visualize the play. They visualize the, the opponent. They visualize uh, stuff that, that, that's going to, you know, obstacles they're going to encounter and it helps them overcome them a lot faster because if you, if you're not prepared for an obstacle and, and you're confronted with an obstacle, you never know, you might be in a, in a, in a state where you're not as motivated, that, that's really going to beat you up. So visualizing and mentally preparing it is going to help you uh, overcome that obstacle, you know, whether you're going to, whether you're motivated, whether you're not, it's going to help you overcome that, right? Um, another one too, that's good. That's number three. Number four, let's go with number four, right? Number four is, is going to be, um, this is a common mistake that, that a lot of people make is, uh, they, uh, they need to share their goals. They need to share their goals and they need to share, uh, what they what they're looking to achieve. And the reason why I say this is because, let's say, for example, uh, you tell some people, hey, you know what, um, uh, I'm going to be a, a, a singer. I want to I wanna, I wanna be a singer now, right? And, and, and yeah, you're, you're, you're practicing and, you're, you're, you know, you've got to, you know, you're singing some, some cover songs and stuff, right? Well, uh they'll start to label you as a singer, right? And so, so now they start to refer to you, hey, this is my friend, Jim, he's a singer. But yet you haven't made it at a professional level as, 
in a singing career, right? And, and your goal is to become a professional, okay? So what happens is you tell people that, that they, they, they support you, but they're not really pushing you. They gave you the title, and because they gave you the title, you feel like you've accomplished that, like you're a singer now. But the real goal is, is, to, is to get a, a record deal. The real goal is to sell, you know, a million albums or whatever, right? So, so that's the real goal. So don't allow the label to, to get you cloudy. For example, some people, you know, say, hey, I'm going to open a business. Maybe they open a small business, and, and so overnight they're business owners, right? That's their title. And so now they're referred to as business owners. And so because they have already got the title, they put on their Instagram, business owner, they fail to build a business. They fail to do the additional training. They fail to, uh, you know, take, you know, classes to get better at leadership. They fail to, you know, go to conferences. They fail to, uh, to build a team because someone gave them a label as a business owner and they feel like they've already accomplished that. So number four is going to be, like I said, uh, find someone that, that can hold you accountable that's really aggressive and really cares and really that, you know, their opinion matters uh, that's going to help you actually reach that goal because, you know, you don't, you don't just want a label. You want to actually accomplish that goal, right? So... Um, so, hey, guys, I mean, thank you, thank you for watching. Make sure y'all get y'all's massive action uh, morning workout in. Make sure y'all get y'all's massive action uh, morning message. Make sure y'all get y'all's massive action, you know, motivation. And um, once again, thank y'all for subscribing. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel, man, because I think it was like 98 of our viewers are not subscribers. So, hey, subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm going to be in Florida tomorrow. And uh, go live from there. Make y'all a video. Later, guys.